It's a true pleasure to extend my best wishes to all of you attending the 30 Years After Biennial Civil Action Conference. Politicians are usually accustomed to saying, I wish I could be here with you tonight, but they don't usually mean it. This time, I promise you that I really mean it. It's been more than two years since I first became familiar with 30 Years After, and your growth and accomplishments in that short time are truly stunning. I'm deeply impressed with the depth of your commitment, the sophistication of your civic action, and the intelligence of your leadership and activists. On a personal priority of mine, the recently enacted Comprehensive Iran Sanctions Accountability and Divestment Legislation, 30 years after, played an invaluable role in building community support and political pressure that resulted in its overwhelming passage by Congress. It was both heartwarming and wholly appropriate that your own Sam Yerby was at the White House to witness President Obama's signing the bill. It is by far the toughest sanctions regime ever imposed on the Iranian regime and is already having dramatic impacts on investments in its energy sector, its ability to import gasoline, and perhaps most importantly, its financial system. Under President Obama's leadership, an international coalition is being assembled that is dedicated to working with us to stop Iran from having a nuclear weapons capability. While it is too early to tell whether the sanction strategy will achieve this goal, if it doesn't succeed, we will be faced with two terrible choices. First, military action directed against its nuclear facilities. And secondly, and even worse, living with a nuclear Iran. That alternative is not an acceptable one, given the nature of this regime. Unacceptable not just to Israel, but to the United States, Iran's neighbors, and to the cause of international stability and nonproliferation. While stopping Iran's nuclear weapons program is our highest short-term priority, our agenda should be much larger. Iran is the world's most active state sponsor of terrorism. It seeks hegemony over the entire region, and it has robbed the great Iranian people of their freedom, liberty, and the inalienable right to choose their own leaders through a systematic and violent suppression. I fervently hope that the day will come soon when the people of Iran and the people of the United States can, with the assistance of their governments, have a close political, economic, social, cultural, and educational ties, which I pray is our mutual destiny. In closing, let me thank 30 Years After for all that you have accomplished and at a personal level from bringing me closer to the Iranian-American Jewish diaspora, many of whom I'm honored to represent in the House of Representatives. Thank you very much.